Absentee voting has brought in record numbers around the country and here at home. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alan Van Sant. On this night before the election, KQ2's Danielle Soxie joins us in studio with news from the county clerk's office. Danielle. Thank you, Alan. Volunteers saying they've never seen anything like the number of people coming in to vote absentee, with about 300 alone coming in on this final day to vote ahead of the election. Now, the early turnout has Buchanan County Clerk Mary Bach Garvey predicting an overall voter turnout of more than 80% due to the pandemic. Early voting rules were were changed, allowing multiple mail-in and early voting options. But absentee voters we talked to say the pandemic wasn't the only reason why voters crowded the polls even before Election Day. So I decided to do absentee voting because I'm actually running the polls on November 3rd and I didn't have a chance on that day to actually go vote, so I still wanted to vote. Uh, well, it's actually my first time voting. Um, I missed the deadline last year, so... Um, but yeah, I'm a full-time student at Missouri Western, and I, I have a lot of classes tomorrow, so I didn't think I had enough time to come down here. And I also didn't want to wait in long lines. The more than 300 absentee voters who casted their ballots today was more than double than any other day previous of early voting. So now that the early voting has closed, it is time to move on to in-person voting tomorrow. The polls will be open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., and it is your chance to have your voice heard. Reporting in studio, Daniel Soxie, KQ2 News.